Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy TNT Barbecue. Today, I got a cook for you. I never did these before. I did them before, but I never did them on video. What we got is barbecue neck bones. Yes, it's the beef neck bones. Guys, these, this is an outstanding meal. This is very uh, reasonable. Uh, at my local butcher, I got the beef neck bones for around 99 cents a pound. They, you should see the marbling on these beef neck bones. They're all beef. And I'm gonna bring in and show you what we're working with, guys, okay? And we'll be using a, a mixture of pecan and a mesquite or pellets to cook this on. So let's, come on, let me show you what we work at. Uh, nine, nine cent a pound. Uh, I got a dozen or so here. And what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and spray it down with some uh, butter spray, okay? And this is just to help my season in here over all the uh the meat right here and they thaw so they're, they're kind of sticky but i want to uh make sure everything is uh all my seasoning stick on all this meat okay and and today we're using no other than uncle steve a uh, competition shake i mean if y'all into good rubs and good beef rubs and stuff put on brisket Things of that nature. Man, pick up you some Uncle Steve, man. I tell you what, Uncle Steve's uh, competition cow powder. Uncle Steve competition cow powder, man. Get your moo on. Man, this stuff is outstanding. Hey, this TNT approved, baby. So I'm gonna leave the description. The, the, I'm gonna leave the link above what season I'm using, okay? So, and you just wanna go on and get that cow powder all over that thing like that such, okay? Shake pretty high and liberal. Cause we want a good bark on this stuff. We want a great bark. And remember this is beef, so you wanna make sure you get a good bark on it. So uh, co uh, textures into this rub. This is go good with the beef neck bones, man. They have a great flavor, especially when that marrow starts to come out of the bones. Oh yes. I mean, when I said great flavor, a great flavor. So I'm just gonna go ahead on it. You just wanna just hit him with this right here. And man, this right here is gonna make an outstanding meal. We're gonna season the bone side, but I wanna make sure I get the top of my meat seasoned, yes. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna just go. And that's simple guys, okay? So we're gonna go out to the smoker and that's what we're gonna do. So we got it seasoned up. Let's go out right, to the guys, smoker. I'm gonna get my smoker preheated up. I already told you I'll be using some mesquite and some pecan for uh, the smoke profile I'm using today. I'm using my Quiznar 4-in-1 pellet grill. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay these. I'm going to lay the meat onto the smoker. We finna start cooking, okay? All right, so we're just gonna lay them ball side down. I mean, so we wanna make sure we get all the smoke we can on these uh, neck bones. All right, guys, so that's how we looking right there. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. And uh, we're gonna let the quiz nard do the work. Like I say, we're gonna run this at 250 degrees for the first two or three hours, and then we're gonna wrap these up and get them tender. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start taking these off. Until the pan, I got some beef broth, and I'm gonna add one stick of butter. Now I'm gonna take these and put in the pan. 
He's going in, I got uh, two cups of beef broth with a, a stick of butter. And look at that bark, man. And what we're doing now is we're trying to get uh, these things tender. So we're going to cut this up to 300 degrees. Cut up to three, probably about 350 has uh, developed on these beef neck bones. They're not tender yet, but they're going to get tender once we uh, let them see here in braids. Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and let that uh cook like that. And we're gonna go ahead and close it down. And I'm putting it on this one. I forgot this one. So uh yeah, but you can see how that bone marrow is coming out of that uh hole. That creates the real nice flavor, okay? Alright guys, when I bring it back, we'll be taste testing, okay? Alright, All right, guys, so here we are. Just doing a brief over of the finished product and I took the privilege to add some of my favorite barbecue sauce that's my boy Rick over at the meat stall his meat frosting hey so I'm gonna leave his link in the description below I'm also gonna leave the competition cow powder um, link to Uncle Steve shake both links will be in the link below this is a great product please guys if you ever in the midst of some barbecue, man, neck bones, holler at your boy TNT cause this is amazing. I'm telling you what, so we get ready to do a taste test. All right guys, we, the uh, barbecue neck bones are done. So before we go any further, let's do a brief go over what we did today. So today I got some of this competition cow powder by my boy, Uncle Steve Shake guys. And uh, I sprinkled on these beef neck bones. And uh, I, I, I used a binder, just spray on cooking spray, season all the sides of the beef neck bones, cooked them on the Quiznar uh, pellet smoker. We used uh, mesquite and pecan wood pellets. Uh, after that, after cooking for two to three hours, we wrapped them up in a foil pan, added some beef broth, and added a stick of butter, and bam, there you go. You got some outstanding beef neck bones. Now these neck bones are delicious. You can do the same thing with pork neck bone, but I recommend you get the beef neck bones. And I, I got my boy Rick over here, the meat style guys. I uh, just drizzled some of the mild sauce on because I didn't want it to put the hot on. Uh, I used that to dip. So that's enough talking. Let's get down to it. So I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna just uh, show you how the texture and everything looks. And we're just gonna cut it up, show you how tender it is. So I hope you can see that amazing smoke ring, guys. And how tender that just sliced. That just, that's like, oh my goodness. Look how tender that sl sliced that, you know, guys. Uh, look at that meat fall apart off that bone. You that gelatinous, something like, um, like, like oxtails a little bit, uh, but yeah. So I just wanted to show y'all how the meat just falls apart, guys. So, uh, all right, guys, so we're gonna do a taste test. I'm finna grab me a piece of that. And man, that smoke ring is awesome on this thing. This, this Quiznar did a good job. We're finna see how this tastes, guys. Mm. Man, the rub is popping through. You can taste the smoke. You can taste the rub. The beef flavor is there. I'm getting some of that um, gelatinous beef cheek kind of taste going on. And you can taste how the bone marrow has seeped out of those neck bones into that um, base. And it got that umami flavor. God, this is a home run. Get you some beef neck bones, smoke them up, wrap them in a pan, get them tender. It's a five hour cook, guys. It'd be well worth the wait. This is your boy, TNT Barbecue. 
Don't forget to give me thumbs up, comment, smash that bell so you know when I drop more videos. And like I always say, guys, God bless you and God bless America. This is amazing, guys. Love y'all. Mm.